it's Dolly. I am back with Cheeky Studio with layout number two. I'm the guest designer for the month of April. That was a 10% coupon code that you can use for the month of April. I will come back. I am using the Wildflower collection and I am using two sheets from the paper collection and that was the purple one is the Wildflower number two. I'm going to use the Wildflower number 12 sheet. I brought in three other paper collections and it's a-okay to do that guys you can mix and match the designers want you to do that this is from close to my heart and this is from their collection called Central Park but guess what this does not make the cut it does not make it to this layout however the next two sheets will this gray one here is called 40 shades of gray I will be using the opposite side which is which has little gray polka dots and you'll see that here I don't flip it over to show you it right at the moment but you will see it on the layout I am also going to use instead of a plain black cardstock paper I'm going to use this bow bunny from the beautiful collection and that'll be the main. I do gut it because I want to use some of that charcoal gray, you know, in future layouts. But that's basically going to be my first mat. And then I'm going to take from the Wallflower Paper collection, I'm going to take the number two, which is the purple. And then I'm going to take the flower one, which is the, the 12. But before we get started, I wanted to show you that I pre-cut these. And so I cut the number two from the Wallflower Paper Pack collection from Cheeky, Cheeky Studio. I cut it five by 12. Then I took the number 12 and I cut it three by 12. And again, that's from Cheeky Studios. This, there's the gray right there from the 40 shades of gray. I'm gonna use the polka dot side. And then this one is from Pink Paisley. And I wasn't looking at the measurements, so I apologize. But the video is gonna keep going and I'm not gonna reverse it. So I'm gonna just layer these down. So you see that right there. I'm gonna tuck that pink one underneath. And I do bring in another strip of the number two from the purple one that you see on the top. Another one gets tucked under the pink strip. But right now I'm going to ink that one. And I'm going to continue to layer for a little bit. I can't remember when I bring in another strip of the purple number two, which is above. So it's on the top. I'm documenting my nephew for homecoming. I got into some of my older Cheeky Studio products because I knew I had a purple and black bow. So I pulled each of those out because I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. I also remember in my stash that I have a black top hat that is a sticker. So I'm getting out my box of black embellishments. So that's what you're seeing me get into right now. And I'm gonna find that top hat because it's making it on this layout. And like I've said before, it is okay to mix and max, mix and match your collections from different manufacturers or just different collections. It's a-okay, they're not gonna get mad at you. As long as you're using the products and you are documenting memories and, and making beautiful layouts, go for it, mix and match. All right, I'm spelling out the word com coming, so it's gonna be homecoming, and those alpha words are from Pink Fresh studio oh, I'm sorry yes pink fresh studios there's that black hat and I will put the purple bow there on the hat and that came from cheeky studios 
this scallop edge that I'm putting is from Felicity Jean. And I'm going to place that there on the bottom. Let's see what else. Oh, I'm getting out some washi tape. And I'm going to tuck that under the number 12 paper from Cheeky Studios, the flower collection. So that gets tucked there. I'm pointing that out. Just adding another little touch to this layout. All those little tiny touches matter. And let's see, I'm trying to figure out, oh, I've got a die cut that says awesome. And I kind of move that around. It goes from under home to the right, but it comes back and stays under the home. I thought I was going to put a die cut there by that hat, but I actually bring in a little purple piece that says our story. I'm using three purple flowers from the Wildflower Ephemera Pack set number five from Cheeky Studios. I'm going to use the Summer Blossom sequence from Cheeky Studios and I'm going to pull out the purple sequins and place them in the center there. I also bring out the white iridescent, they're almost kind of clear sequins, and I place them around the upper left corner of that photograph. It looks awesome. I get out some of my thread and I ball that up and place that over there in the corner. And as you can see, I brought in another strip of or another, I cut another strip of that purple paper and tucked it under like I said I would. All right, be sure to go check out Cheeky Studios. Um, oh my gosh, check out her Facebook group and her shop. I'll have the links listed below along with the hashtag for the Instagram site. And like I said, please go check out her um, shop and Facebook group. They're posting over there all the time. There's ladies that post links to their videos that use her products. I appreciate you all. Thanks for stopping by. Here are some close-ups. All right, as you look at the close-ups here, to the left here, I have a crystal. I have two words, and the words say beautiful, a time to gather courage. Over here to the right that I'm showing you here, you see the top hat sticker, the purple bow, my little um, tab that says our story with a little um, enamel dot in the middle of it, the word homecoming. So I'm just showing you all the layers. I'm showing you how the sequins are sparkling on this layout. And again, like I said, I'm documenting my nephew attending homecoming. So it was a big a big step for him. All right. I appreciate you all. I thank you for all your support. Like I said before, please subscribe, like, share my channel, and be sure to go check out Cheeky Studios shop. Check out the Facebook group and go over there to uh, Instagram, and we'll see you again. All right. Bye.